What's going on guys? This is a Hyundai 1.6 liter engine. Doing the timing belt on it. I'm gonna show you how I set it up with the marks. So let's talk about this camshaft sprocket. There's a keyway here and a dot. Now if you look closely, that dot is supposed to line up with a mark that is cast into the cylinder head itself. What I also do is um, I paint my own mark, put a reference on the gear, the belt, and uh, something on the engine as well that doesn't move. Let's check out the bottom. The keyway is supposed to face to the right at about 90 degrees. So I marked the keyway, marked the gear, marked the belt as well. And I also put another reference mark on the engine. This is less important, but I just do it anyways. So once I let this dry, I go ahead and remove the belt and I transfer the marks to the new belt. So I've removed the old belt and I transferred the marks to the new belt. And so what that means is there's an equal number of teeth between the marks on the old belt and on the new belt. And this ensures that when I reinstall, everything will line up. I also placed a little arrow to indicate the rotation. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this down here. See what it looks like. One thing you can do to kind of hold, if you have the belt where you want it, you can throw something in there to hold it in place. So now it's time for me to bolt this idler pulley up. Need a little slack on this side. I can get that slack by rotating this slightly. So I'm gonna verify again, got the mark there, lined up good. And I've got the mark down there, which is fine. Now I've installed the tensioner, like so. It's not putting any tension on there yet, but once I loosen that 12 millimeter, it's gonna start applying a tension. So let me do that right now. There we go. Now I'm gonna look up the procedure for setting the tension correctly on this. 
But as you can see, I can be confident that this timing belt is timed correctly due to my use of the marks. And as always, once you set the tension, you want to verify the marks by rotating the engine a couple times and then making sure that um, these marks line up. The marks on the belt will have moved, but you can always verify the marks of the crankshaft pulley and the camshaft pulley.